Yes, that you stole from the evidence room. Borrowed? Yes. Well, it's come close several times, but... Uh, which CD are you working on? Sheridan in the psych ward. Gotta find proof. Once I do, I'll get her back. Well, good luck. I'll be back after my shift. All right. Proof I need to get Sheridan back. Wait. Sheridan, what are you doing here? I, uh, I was thinking about what, what you were saying to me earlier. Do you have any proof? I mean, can you show me? Can you, can you prove to me that you're the one I really want to be with? You want to talk to me about Teresa and my surrogate. I mean, what for? Whitney, what do they have in common? Okay, I mean, Teresa. You know I hate Teresa. Why would I want to talk about her? If you listen for a second, I'll Whitney, tell you. Whitney, come in for a second. Let me talk to you real quick. Don't mind. Fox, what is it? This is a horrible idea, okay? You, you're going to betray your best friend. Fox, but Teresa is doing this horrible. She's taking the place of the real surrogate, getting pregnant with Gwen's eggs, having Ethan and Gwen's biological child and then trading it for little Ethan? That's sick. Just stop and think about this, okay? Fox, there's no time to think. Teresa's in the implantation room right now. I gotta stop her from doing this. And it's, you know what? It's not only sick, but it's illegal. If I don't stop her from doing this, she's either gonna go to prison or Gwen's gonna kill her. Okay, but you know what? You're forgetting about one thing. Hey, Teresa usually manages to screw up her schemes, okay? So for all we know, something's already happened to stop her. <sighs> Teresa. Oh, God. If Ethan has figured out that it's me and not Heather, that I've replaced the real surrogate, I'm finished. Sorry, I am um, Heather. I don't know what got into me. Sorry, all this talking about this other woman, it just, she just popped into my head. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> Has to stop. I feel guilty enough about what I did to Gwen because I couldn't control my feelings for this other woman. And our baby Sarah, she died and it's basically my fault because I couldn't stay away from this other woman, and I don't think I'll ever get over the guilt for that. But um, this, this baby, <laughs> this baby that you're going to give us, it just means, it means so much to us, Heather. It's going to get our marriage back on track. It's going to heal our wounds. You... It's just, it's just going to be wonderful, and we want to let you know how grateful we are to you. And I'm sorry for going on and on about... <laughs> My problems, it just feels good to get them out. Gwen was telling me earlier that once Heather has our baby and she has it in her arms, she's just, she's gonna be so unbelievably happy. So, thank you. And good luck. I will, uh, I'll see you after the procedure.
for sure he knew it was me. And then he started talking about how he still has feelings for me. Despite everything that's happened, there's still a strong connection between us. Just forget Ethan, Teresa. He betrayed me by helping Rebecca take my child and then adopting little Ethan with Gwen. Well, I'm not gonna let them have my son. Once I have Gwen's eggs implanted in me and I have her baby, then I will force them to trade that child that I'm having for them with little Ethan. Nothing is gonna stop me from getting my child back. I can't let Teresa steal Gwen's baby. I'm yeah. sorry. Gwen, she's your best friend. She's your best friend, okay? You can't tell on her. I can, Fox. I can if what I think she's doing is wrong. No. What about all the wrong things that have been done to her lately, huh? Rebecca took her kid away from her. Gwen adopted little Ethan, okay? Those are wrong things. I agree, but so two wrongs make a right? Yeah, maybe in this case they do. She's doing it to get little Ethan back, Whitney. Okay, do you not see that this is a crime? It's a crime, and I'm not gonna be a party to it, okay? I'm not gonna be like my mother. Well, what does your mother have to do with this? Okay, do you know that she shows absolutely no remorse over having an affair with Julian? No conscience at all. I, mean, I gotta stop this insanity. This is crazy. Wait, if you wanna talk to me, then talk to me. I just don't have time for this. Okay, look, I know what I'm doing, okay? And I know that it's the right thing. I'm not so sure. So what? What? What is it, you know? What do you want to talk to me about? Teresa and my surrogate, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, I do, I do have something to tell you. Um, so, Wendy, please, spit it out. I just, I don't have full day here. I know, I'm sorry, I just, I, I just have to stop this whole thing from happening. Stop what? This whole situation, okay, before anyone ends up getting hurt. That's what you said. Have you found any proof yet that, that you're the man that I should be with, not Antonio? Well, no, not yet. I, I haven't broken the code on these CDs yet, but when I do, I'll, I'll have all the proof I need. I'll prove to you that Alistair had Dr. Ackland brainwash you into thinking that you should be with Antonio and not me. Why would my own father do that to me? Why would he want me to forget that you're the man that I love? Well, Sheridan, for a lot of reasons. I mean, for one, he hates my family. But that makes no sense. I mean, if that's true, then, then why would he want me to be with Antonio? I mean, you, your brothers, the same family, why would he choose one brother over the other? Because he's scared of me. Scared of you? Why? Sheridan, he knew that if I got close to you, it would be a lot easier for me to access the Crane's secrets. You know, to find out all the lousy things that he's done to you, to my father, to everyone else in Harmony. And he, he knows that Antonio... Look, Antonio wouldn't expose his secrets. He's not a threat to him. I don't know, Louise. No, Sheridan, it's true. But the one thing that he failed to realize is that the harder he tried to keep me away from you, the more determined I was to bring him down. So I came up with a plan. Sheridan, I went into disguise. I found Alistair's secret safe, and I found these damn CDs. And I'm telling you, on them is proof. There's proof that'll bring him down. Alistair Crane will never hurt anyone again. What's happening? Peter's breaking the car. Sheridan, you see that? It's Alistair's plan to have Dr. Ackland brainwash you. Oh, my God. Sheridan, you see? Sheridan. Sheridan, that is why you were drawn to me, even though you thought you loved Antonio. Oh, Louise. Louise, I, I remember everything, it's true. You're the man I want to be with, the man I love.
Sheridan. Sheridan, what's wrong? I, I was just thinking about what Antonio told me. What did he say? That you're trying to manipulate me. That those CDs are fake. Well, he's wrong. How do I know that they're not fake? Sheridan, you have my word. But you could have written up Sh all this stuff all by yourself. Well, I didn't. Sheridan, come on. I I'm telling you, this stuff is real. Sheridan, I will prove it to you beyond a shadow of a doubt, OK? I love you. I wouldn't lie to you. All right, come with me. Where? I'm going to take you to see someone who's going to show you that everything you've just read there is real. OK? OK. What is going on here? What? Stop what situation before who gets hurt? What's going on? You all look so serious. What's up, Fox? Well, uh, Whitney here has something to tell me about Teresa and our surrogate. Our surrogate? I don't understand. Yeah, well, that makes two of us, because I don't know what they could possibly have in common. Okay. Whitney, what's going on here? Hey, hold on one second. Whitney, excuse us real quick. Hey, listen. Don't do this. Look, Fox, I have to. I mean, I can't live with myself if I don't tell Gwen what's really going on here. Whitney, what is going on with this whispering? Look, Gwen, I'm sorry. I mean, I know it seems like I'm dragging this whole thing out, but... Seems like it. Please. I have something very important I need to tell you. Um, since you and Ethan are about to have your own child through your surrogate, um, I think that you should let Teresa have her son back. And you need to let her have little Ethan and, and, and do it right now, because if you don't, there's going to be a lot of heartache with everyone, including mm -hmm. yourself, OK? So you think I should give little Ethan back to Teresa, do you? Oh, I know you should. And, and it's the right thing to do, right? Oh, and, and you decided this? You, you decided this, huh? Well, I mean, you come on. You know in your heart that it's true. Whitney, are you sure you want to know what's in my heart? Because I've got a burning desire to tell you to mind your own damn business. I am never giving little Ethan back to Teresa. Do you hear me? Never. Heather, I'm yes. Dr. Simmons. I'll be doing your procedure. Oh. I hope right now. Well, we're ready to begin the procedure if you are. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. More than ready. Well, in fact, the sooner the better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. This is such a wonderfully generous thing you're doing, Heather. Thank you. How did it come about? Um, what do you mean? I mean, what process led you to decide to become a surrogate? What did you have to do? Hello? How are you feeling? Who are you? I haven't seen you in here before. Oh, uh, that's because my shift just started a few minutes ago. Well, um, I'm fine. Good, good. Um, well, I have to do one test, actually, before we start the procedure and implant the eggs, OK? Oh, OK. All right. It's a, it's a big night for you, huh? Yes, especially for my couple, Ethan and Gwen. They're so nice and generous. Oh, well, that's great. I can't believe how much money I'm making doing this for them. My husband and kids are very happy. Oh, yes, that's it. That's exactly what I need. Ethan is a lawyer, very successful. And Gwen is pretty and sweet. They're just the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. Oh, you're very lucky. Very. And you know, I am sure that they are very, very lucky to have found you, too. They seem happy. Okay. All right, well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So like I said, I have this one test to do. I'm just going to place this over your face like so, and you just breathe in what? deeply. Go ahead. Breathe in. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. You're the innocent in all this, but it's the only thing I can do. Sorry. Okay, we'll just take this from you real quick. Yep, yeah, just like that. You know, there was a lot of obstacles that I had to overcome. But in the end, I felt that it was the right thing to do for everyone. Must take a lot of determination on your part, though. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> I can tell from the look in your eyes. 
Nothing could have stopped you. No, oh, nothing. No, I want to be pregnant with Ethan and Gwen's baby in the worst way. So nothing's going to stop me from having a child. You are my passion for life. Ackland. No, no, I tell him I'm busy. T tell him I'm not here. I, I don't care how important it is. I just don't want to see anybody. Just get rid of them. Thank you. Luis, Sheridan. Hello, Dr. Ackland. Hello. Uh, I, I wish you'd uh, called ahead of time. I, I would have cleared my schedule. As it is, I'm extremely We're all going busy. away, Ackland. OK. Not sure I understand. May I ask why you're here to see me? I'll let you know you're finished. What? Yeah. See, I know everything that you and Alistair did to Sheridan. Are you brainwashed her? Ah, uh, not this again. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I have proof. What? Mm, that's right. Yeah. I got proof. Enough to have Alistair arrested and, well, if you want to protect your own behind and not share a jail cell with him, then I suggest you start writing out a confession. <laughs> you just... You're just not gonna... You're just not gonna, not gonna give this up, are you? This, this, is, this is the same insane idea you've been trumpeting for, for months. Yep. Proof. Why don't you read it and weep? Did you get this? Mm. I got it. That's all you need to worry about. Well, except for the fact that you're going to be busted and then lose your license to practice medicine and be sent to state prison. Well, unless, of course, you turn to state's evidence and testify against Alistair. Yeah, maybe I can get the DA to go easy on you. I can't do that. Why not? <laughs> Testify against Alistair Crane. He's one of the most powerful men in the world. Not anymore. You see, this isn't the only CD that I have. I've got reams of information detailing every evil and illegal act that Alistair has ever done. So, Alistair's going away to prison for a very, very long time. And, uh, you are too. Unless, of course, you. Eyes up. You want to know? Everything. <clears throat> My association with Alistair was uh, extremely limited. Yeah. Well, how about we start with this then, okay? Does this information look accurate to you? Huh? Is this what Alistair made you do to Sheridan? Is this what you did to her to make her forget that she loved me? Well, he... It's... What, Ackland? I'm telling you to get it straight, okay? Now, either you can tell me everything, or I can make sure that you go to jail for the rest of your life. Gwen, you have to know that it isn't right for you to keep Teresa's son. Why should I care what you think? Well, Ethan, I'd like to know. Because if Whitney is going to stay righteous making these pronouncements, that's not what I'm doing, Gwen. Really? Then what are you doing? Just give her a chance to talk. What, are you taking her side? No, I'm not taking her side. Well, you just, shh, let her finish. I know that you and your mother took little Ethan away from Teresa for revenge. No, Whitney, the judge took little Ethan away from Teresa because she's an unfit mother. No, everyone knows why that happened. Because you blame Teresa for Sarah's death and because you can't have any more children, right? Where are you going with this? The point is that since you're about to have your own child through your surrogate, your own biological child, why not let Teresa have her son back? Why not? Why not? 
little Ethan was taken away from Teresa because the courts of this great state declared her unfit to raise him. Why and how is Teresa unfit? Well, let me count the ways. Number one, she has no home. Number two, she has no job. And number three, she is certifiably insane. Not certifiably. Oh, Fox, Honey, shut you, up. You, you gotta calm down. I'm not gonna calm down, okay? Have you guys just like forgotten, all of a sudden forgotten that Teresa, Teresa is the one who caused me to fall late in my pregnancy, which caused the complications, which led to Sarah's death. Teresa killed my little girl, Whitney. Gwen, everybody knows what happened to Sarah was horrible. It was tragic, okay? But the reason that Teresa doesn't have a home or a job right now is because of your mother. All right, now listen. I understand that Teresa does some odd things, but she's not crazy. Oh, some odd thing? Yeah, and she loves her son. Oh, yeah. She loves her son so much that she dumped him on her mother last summer so she could flit off to Los Angeles to chase after Ethan. Or is that just one of those odd things you're talking about? Whitney, I was nine months pregnant and she tried to steal my husband Gwen, from me. Gwen, if you want to listen to me no, for one No, I am second. not going to listen to you because I do not want to listen to anyone who has anything positive to say about Teresa. She got what she deserved. I am going to raise her son as my own and there's nothing you can do about it, so stop it. Just back off. You know what? If you could just get past your anger for one second. Whitney, I'm no, not no, listening. No, just no, stop Teresa it. loves her son. You know what? If you don't listen to me, you're gonna cause yourself a lot of pain. Oh, I'm gonna cause myself pain, huh? Yes. Is that how it's gonna be? How about all the pain that Teresa caused me? I cannot believe that you have the nerve to stand here in front of my face and defend her. Teresa didn't mean for Sarah to die, Gwen. She didn't mean for Hey, hey, honey, honey, stop, stop, stop. Crazy! Teresa is a bitch and don't you dare to defend her! Now, Heather, you do know that sometimes we have to do this process several times to implant an egg successfully. <sighs> several times? Yeah, I'm afraid there are no guarantees. I'm sure that was explained to you as well as to the Winthrops. No, 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 it has to happen this time. It has to happen the, the first time, and it just has well, to. Well, we all certainly want that, but as I said, we can't be certain that this time No, will no, be no, no, time. doctor, please, no, it has to take this time. If it doesn't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose everything. Well, I must say, your behavior is certainly unlike that of the other surrogates we've had in here. Is there something you'd like to tell us, Heather? Oh, no. No, no, I don't, um, I don't have anything to say, Doctor. Are you sure? You seem a bit panicky. <sighs> You know, no, it's, it's not that, actually. I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm just so impatient sometimes, you know? I just, I'm, I'm really anxious to help the Winthrops have this baby. And that's what it is. And I, and I just, you know, I, I just want it to work the first time for their sake. You know, I, I want them to be happy. Well, that's very kind of you, Heather. <laughs> and I will do everything I can to make this happen, I assure you. So just relax, okay? Okay. <laughs> and know that we will do our best to get you pregnant as soon as possible. Thank you. I've got to get pregnant this time. It's my only chance. I just pray nobody finds the real Heather. What was that? I, I didn't hear anything. Well, I did. Check that out, would you, nurse? I'll be right back. information on this CD correct? Yes. It's true. I, I did all those things. I did all those things. Oh, my God. Damn you. But... But Alistair Crane made me do it. He, he, he forced me to do it. How could you? You were my doctor. I trusted you. I'm so sorry, Sheridan. I, I don't know what to say. It, uh, your, your father left me no choice. He, he threatened me. He threatened my family. I hate, I hate what I did to you, and, and, and I hate myself for doing it, and I'm... I just didn't see any other way at the time. I know that makes me look like a coward, and... Well, you're not... 
the first person to have been intimidated by the cranes, okay? I know how Alistair can destroy people. But no more, that is over. I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry. So do you believe me now? Yes. I got all the time that we've lost. All right. Come on. You can't think about that, okay? We're together now, all right? Let's just think about our future. Yes, the future. Yeah. Come on. It's all over, okay? We're gonna be together. I love you so much. I love you too. With all my heart, all right? And hey, I'm never gonna let anyone ever come between us. Never. Teresa is a crazy bitch. Don't you dare defend her to Honey, me. You, you get a hold of yourself. Come here. Come here. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Gwen, you're crazy. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm the one who's crazy? No, Teresa is the one who is certified Honey, take, crazy. take a breath. Stop. Is she the so one who sent you to talk to me? To uh, tell me to give her her son back? Is this one of that maniac's crazy schemes? Don't talk what? about it like that. No, she didn't. Excuse me? She didn't send me, okay? I'm trying to do the right thing for you. I'm trying to tell you one of her crazy little schemes because I'm trying to help you. By telling me to give her her son back? How the hell is that helping me? If you shut up and listen for a minute, I would tell you. Well, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, okay? Just hearing the name Teresa makes me want to throw up. When, please, come on. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald is the bane of my existence, Whitney. But, oh, my God, if, if you would just listen, I'm no, trying to warn over. you about your it's own... over. I will never let that little bitch hurt me or Ethan again. Her reign of terror on me has come to an end. I can't believe you won't even try to listen to me for two I'm seconds so that I I'm sick and tired of it. Whit, I don't want to hear it. I am sick of being manipulated by that disgusting low life. All right, all right, come on, come on, come over here. God. Oh, my God. Well, I definitely had no idea that she'd react like that. Well, hey, you know, you tried to tell her, okay? You tried to tell her she wouldn't listen. Whatever Teresa's gonna do has already been set in motion, so all we can do is just stand here and watch. Yeah. You know, I, um, I, I, yeah, I didn't hear anything, actually. I didn't, I didn't, uh, so can we start the procedure? Wait right. a minute. I know what's causing that noise, Dr. Simmons. I heard it earlier. It's just the pipes. Yeah, that must be it. I heard the pipes knocking myself in the doctor's locker room when I took a shower the other day. Oh. Hmm. Well, okay, so now that we know what it is, can we start this, please? I know you're eager, Heather, and we're getting very close. It won't be long now. All right, thank you. Better not be, or someone's gonna discover that it's not the pipes knocking, it's a person. Whitney upset me like that. I have been through enough. Honey, don't think about Whitney. Let's just go to the prep room, okay? Fine, but if you think I'm ever gonna get over what Teresa's done to us... Can we not think about this anymore, and please? even if I ever find out that Teresa has tried some crazy scheme to win you back or hurt us in any way, I swear I will kill her. I will end her life on the spot if I find out she has done anything else to ruin mine. She has had it out for me since day one. Ethan, she has made it her life's work to ruin mine. Honey, this is not helping anything. I know it's not. I know it's not. I don't know why I'd love for getting so upset. I don't know why either, because everything is great. And honestly, I think it's the hormones, okay, talking here. Think about it. We have a surrogate that's being implanted with your eggs right now. This is the moment we've been waiting for. It's time to be happy, okay? What is that? I don't know. 
no way is God, it sounds like someone could be trapped in there. something to you. You were able to prove it. I'm so grateful to you. In my life. No, without you. Lost. I love you so much. I can't spend a minute away from you. I love you too. I promise we'll never be apart again, okay? Oh, I need you. I feel so safe in your arms. Mm. Make love to me. Make love to me now. I want you to lie back, Heather, and take a deep breath. Think positive thoughts. Sorry, positive thoughts. OK, I got them. Now, the best thing you can do for us, Heather, to make this implantation successful yes. is to stay calm. OK, calm. It'll all go smoothly if you just relax. Calm, relax. That's me. That's me. Okay, just hurry up and do it, please. Hey. You okay? Gwen really went off on me, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Can I get you something? No, I'm fine. It's just, you know, I was trying to help her, that's all. Well, you, you tried. She's got some temper on her, doesn't she? Gwen? Yeah. Hmm. A little bit. But you know what? This isn't good. I mean, if Gwen could go off on me like that because she thought I was Teresa's messenger, imagine what she would do when she finds out that Teresa replaced her surrogate. I don't even want to think about it. When Gwen finds out what Teresa's up to, she's going to kill her. Gwen is going to end Teresa's life. Stop. I guess it's the pipes like the nurse said earlier. I don't know, honey. It didn't sound like pipes. It sounded like someone was, was maybe kicking from the inside. <gasps> All right, yeah, you're right. That sounds like... Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Heather, what the hell Heather. is going on? Come on. Mm. What, what happened? You're supposed to be in the implantation room. Mm. <sighs> OK. All right, so how are we doing? We ready? Now, what did I tell you about staying calm, Heather? I know. I'm trying. Big breaths. Stay calm. I know. It's just, you know, I'm trying to. I'm just, I'm really anxious to help the Winthrops have this baby. You know, it's their dream. And we will try to make their dream come true, but there's no big hurry. I mean, it's not as if someone's going to come charging through that door and stop the procedure. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Oh, God, if you only knew. What the hell happened here, Heather? How did you get take in her, here? Take her, take her gag off. Oh, my out. God. Oh. Oh. I love you so much. I love you too. Dude, nothing is ever going to separate us again. We're going to be together. Always. 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 It will happen. Sheridan will remember our love. We will be together. How's it going? You break the code yet? Yet, but I will. Soon I'm gonna have proof that Alistair had Dr. Ackland brainwashed Sheridan in that psych ward and made her forget our love. I get the proof first, then you can make him pay. Oh, I'll get the proof. And I'll make him pay that bastard took away the woman I love. I'm not gonna stop till I have Sheridan in my arms and Alistair is destroyed. I really thought I could reach Gwen, you know? But she's so bitter and nasty. Mm-hmm. And she's rude. Yeah. Well, you know what? You did what you could, and uh, it's obvious she's not going to change her mind about any of this, so better just stay out of it. 
You're right. This is between Teresa and Gwen now. You know, though, if Teresa manages to get pregnant with Gwen and Ethan's baby... That's gonna be one huge explosion. Amen. Explosion Harmony probably will never recover from. This is it, Heather. The procedure's about to begin. Hallelujah! In a very short time, if everything goes as we hope it will, you will be pregnant with Ethan and Gwen Winthrop's child. Oh, I can't wait. When I tell Gwen I'm having her and Ethan's baby, she'll have no choice but to hand over little Ethan. My child for their child. It's okay. Oh, God, Heather, are you okay? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess I was just, I couldn't breathe. It's all right, all right. Just sit down, sit down. Relax. Try to relax, okay? I so much. I, I, I just didn't think anyone was ever going to hear me or, or save me. Oh, my God. How did this happen? How did you get in there? You, you won't, you won't believe it. But you're supposed to be getting implanted with my eggs right now. I wanted to, and I, I was all ready to, and then... Then then what? Then... Oh, God. Oh, God! If she's here, oh, Ethan, who's in the implantation room? Yes, it's happening. I'm getting my son back, Gwen, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Simone, I think my luck just changed. This is my only chance to get my son back. That's not the woman we just implanted with the Winthrop's embryos. Oh, my God. I am pregnant with Ethan and Gwen's baby.